Hello students, let us continue our topic of lines and angles. In our previous class, we have completed the exercise and today we will learn a theorem. Now see, our theorem is that the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. And about this, I think we are learning from class 5 that the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So this is known to us and in this class we will prove this. Now see, to prove that the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree, what we have to do? First we will consider a triangle, okay? First we will consider this the triangle, let A, B, C be a triangle, okay? We have to prove that, what? What we have to prove? We have to prove that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equals to 180 degree. So, here we have to prove that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equals to 180 degree or we can say that angle B A C plus angle A B C plus angle A C B is equals to 180 degree. Now see for this what we have to do here we will draw a line D E parallel to B C. What we have to do we will draw a line D E parallel to B C passing through E. Okay, so in <coughs> the construction part, what we had done, we had drawn a line D E parallel to B C passing through A. Now see, in the proof part, what we have to do that here D E is parallel to B C. Just you see here D E is parallel to BC. So now you see if DE is parallel to BC, can we say angle B is equals to angle A? Why? We can write angle ABC is equals to angle DAB. Why? We will use our previous knowledge. That is what? Alternate angle. And angle ACB is equals to angle EAC. Alternate angles. Okay. Now, here that we can write angle DAB plus angle BAC plus angle EAC is equals to 180 degree. Why? Angles what? On a line. So if this three are angle DAB plus angle BAC plus angle EAC is equals to 180 degree, then we can say that angle ABC plus angle BAC plus angle ACB is equals to 180 degree. This is the uh, <coughs> measurement of all these three. So we can say that the sum of three angles of a triangle is how much? 180 degree. So just see here. For this, we have to say that first we will write that in given part. First we will write in the given part, let ABC be a triangle. Okay. After that we will write, we have to prove. First we will write the given part. In the given part we will write, let ABC be a triangle. After that write in prove part, to prove angle BAC plus angle ABC plus angle ACB is equals to 180 degree. After that, for proving this, what I explain that we will draw a line DE parallel to BC passing through A. Now, in the proof part, we will write DE parallel to BC. So, if DE parallel to BC, then angle ABC is equals to angle DAB and angle ACB is equals to angle EAC, alternate angles. And here, angle DAB plus angle BAC plus angle EAC is equals to 180 degree angles on a line. So, we can say that angle ABC plus angle BAC plus angle ACB is equals to 180 degree. Is this okay? Now, now see, another property is, this is the property which we will use while solving problem. Okay, now another property is, if side of a triangle is produced, the exterior ang angle so formed is equal to the sum of two interior opposite angles. This we know. This we know from our previous class also that if a side of a triangle is produced, the exterior angle so formed is equal to the sum of two interior opposite angles now see here in this case okay here that we can say that a b c be a 
triangle and ACD be its exterior. We have to prove that angle ACD is equals to what? Angle CBA plus angle CAB. Okay. Now see here to prove this since here angle ACD and ACB forms a linear pair. So angle <coughs> here ACD plus angle ACB is equals to 180 degree. Also we know that angle ABC plus angle ACB plus angle BAC is equals to 180 degree. So from 1 and 2 angle ACD ACD plus angle ACB is equals to angle ABC plus angle ACB plus angle BAC. That implies angle ACD is equals to angle ABC plus angle BAC. Okay. Now see here. So we can say that in this case here that <coughs> We have to prove that angle ACD is equals to angle CBA plus angle CAB. Now look here, angle ACD and ACB form a linear pair. So if it forms a linear pair, then sum of these two will be how much? 180 degree. So angle ACD plus angle ACB is equals to 180 degree and we know that angle ABC plus angle ACB plus angle BAC is equals to 180 degree. So from both these we can say that angle ACD is equals to what? Angle ACD plus <coughs> angle ACB is equals to angle ABC plus angle ACB plus angle BAC. So we can say that angle ACD is equals to angle ABC plus angle BAC. C. Okay, and we already know that angle opposite to equal sides of an isosceles triangle is triangles are equal. This property we know. After that, one more property is known to us that angles opposite to equal sides of an isosceles triangles are equal. So, if we know the property of an isosceles triangles directly, we can see the figure and we can solve now see this angle sorry triangle abc be an isosceles triangle if it is an isosceles triangles then we can say that ab is equals to ac and we have to prove that angle abc is equals to angle acb now for this what we have to do in the construction part we will draw a bisector ad of angle a which means BC is drawn. Okay, BC at D is drawn. Now see in triangle ABD and triangle ACD, what? AB is equals to AC given AD is equals to AD common and angle BAD is equals to angle CAD. So by SAS congruency, we can say that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD angle ABD is equals to angle ACD and angle ABC is equals to angle ACB okay so this much for this class and we will solve the numerical in the next class till then have a good day